Hello everyone, welcome to our 40 days of Engaging Heavens. Today is our fourth day in Lent and I welcome you to our sharing for the day. My name is Dennis Myla, Life Coach Dennis. So our reflection comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse 15 and 16. So be careful how you live. Don't live like ignorant people but like wise people. Make good use of every opportunity you have because these days are evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In our reflection today, I'm joined by uh, one of the Jumeirs in Madre Teresa. Uh, you can say hi, it's fine. Hi. <laughs> Maria Goretti. Yeah? In, if you know Zimmerman, uh, in town in Kahawa West, Welcome to the Ajumuya. It is called Together. Maria Goretti. So our theme today is time. Time is the one thing that everyone is given equally, whether you are a child, a grown-up, an old person, a rich person, you're given time. And it is very important for us to understand that one of the biggest resources we will ever have is time. Time is of essence. And most of the people uh, in the world want to say that time is money. But today I want us to reflect on something different. When someone dies, what do we say? We say that his time or her time has done what? Has ended. So time, we can equate it to life. That what God gives us in a period of time is life. What you do with this life is what the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16 is saying that make good use of every opportunity you have because the days are evil. You know, the one thing that the devil knows how to steal from us is time. Have you ever noticed the times that you go and pray? You go and sit in front of the Lord and you want to do your prayers. Just as you start like this, all kinds of thoughts start coming into your head. Oh, your, your business, oh, the things that you have not done. And somehow, the moment that you've decided to seek the face of God, that is when you get your mind distracted. Your mind goes away to something else. And today I want us to, to, to be aware that in this world, what we have been given is time. And it is a resource. And as good stewards, we are being called upon during this Lent time. What are you doing about the time that God has given you? What are you doing with the time that has God has given you? I want to give us some few things that steal away our time. And more so the precious time that we give to God. Because we are going to be, we are fasting, we are praying, and we are giving alms. Three things that are happening during this Lent. So, one of the basic things is praying. And prayer requires time. And not just time, but quality time away from distraction. So I want to ask us, have you set aside time for your prayer? during this life? Have you set a time that you're going to seek the face of God? A time that you will prepare your mind consciously, you're going to prepare your heart repentantly that you may seek the face of God because God has so many promises and wonderful promises that are embedded in his word, but we never go out to seek it. We never go and, uh, and, and check out. Look, let me give you an example. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, what no ear has heard, what no eye has seen, is what God has prepared for us. Yet someone will cry that they do not have. Someone will cry that they do not need. Someone will cry that they are suffering. Yet they have not even read the word of God and given it to him and asked him, God, you have said what eye has not seen, what ear has not heard. That is what you have set aside for me. And the Lord is inviting us today that you set time aside. Avoid being uh, getting your time stolen. And when you're in that moment of prayer, I want you to watch out for your mind. Before you brush off the distraction, I want you to think, number one, could it be that my thoughts are what I am supposed to pray about? My thoughts, what is going on in my head? Is it something that I'm supposed to pray about? Because many a times we will, we will just be doing it in our minds that you want to defend yourself against the thoughts, against the thoughts, but they are rushing in. Sometimes just accept them. Put them in prayer. Suppose I am going into my time of prayer and in my thoughts I'm thinking, oh, my rent. 
maybe I need to sit down and also first of all pray for that rent that the Lord may hearken into my situation and then I will brush off the worry and I will be able to sit down and be able to talk to Jesus about any other thing that is not disturbing my heart. Now secondly, another thief of time is the worldly pleasures. We are in a time of Lent. How I pray that some of us will be able to pass from the program just like the soap operas, eh, the videos, the African movies we like watching. The, and you know, let me just say this. Most of the blockbuster movies we like to watch, there are a few things that you will always see. Killing, adultery, all those negative things are the, are the ones that are perpetuated in the movies that we watch. How many times do we take, especially during this time of Lent, to just switch off our TV and cleanse our souls, <laughs> cleanse our minds from all the distractions that affect us during the time of prayer. And I want us to, as I bring it to a close, I want to speak a blessing to every one of you that the Lord, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord lift you, may the Lord encourage you, and may the Lord see you through all your troubles. And I have a beautiful prayer here that I want to end with. It is a prayer that was done by St. Teresa of Avila. Oh my God, source of all mercy, I acknowledge your sovereign power while recalling the wasted years that are past. I believe that you, Lord, can and in an instant turn things that I have lost around. Miserable as I am, yet I firmly believe that you can do all things. Please restore to me the time lost. Give me your grace, both now and in the future, that I may appear before you in the wedding garments. Amen. So use your time to gain heaven, even as you gain the world. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.